Today we'll take a look at the best budget smartphones in 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I'll try and help you find the right one for your needs. Before we start, I have a question for you. Which smartphone are you using right now, and would you recommend it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Moto G Fast – Best Under $200 the Moto G Fast is one of the best smartphones that's available under $200. The front of the phone is dominated by a 6.4-inch LCD with a small notch for the selfie camera. Resolution comes in at 1560x720 pixels for a density of 268 ppi. While the display is bright and has excellent color accuracy, it leaves a lot to be desired in terms of clarity compared with the 399 ppi Moto G Power, which we'll talk about later. The Moto G Fast has the same rear camera stack as the Moto G Power, has a 16 megapixel primary sensor with an f1.7 aperture, an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens with an f2.2 aperture, and a 2 megapixel macro lens with an f2.2 aperture. The front facing camera is a bit different, coming in at 8 megapixels with an f2.2 aperture compared to the Moto G Power's 16 megapixels. While the Moto G Fast is powered by the same Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 chipset as its G-Series siblings, that's where the hardware similarities end. There's 3GB of RAM here compared with 4GB in the Moto G Power and Moto G Stylus. Storage has been cut in half to 32GB, of which nearly 20GB is available out of the box. On the plus side, you can add up to an additional 512GB of storage with a micro SD card. The Moto G Fast is a great choice for anyone who can't spend more than $200 on a new smartphone thanks to strong battery life, a serviceable display, and cameras and good enough performance. Number 4. Moto G Power 2020 – Best Battery Life Year after year, Motorola stands out as one of the best companies to watch for delivering good, cheap Android phones. 2020 saw the release of the Moto G Power, and if you're in the market for an affordable smartphone, it's hard to do much better than this. Anything that lasts more than 10 hours has a good battery life in my book. The Moto G Power blows them all away with a runtime of 16 hours and 10 minutes. It's the best phone battery life I've ever seen, and it's really remarkable when you consider the Moto G Power costs under $250. But that's not the only reason this Android phone made our best budget smartphone video. The Moto G Power also features a large 6.5-inch display with full HD resolution, pretty good performance from its Snapdragon 660 processor, and a solid 64GB of storage. And while the triple rear cameras aren't best in class, I appreciate there's an ultra-wide shooter on board here. At 7 ounces, the beefy 5000mAh battery inside the Moto G Power certainly contributes to its weight, and the screen on this phone could be more colourful, but overall the Moto G Power more than lives up to its name. Tying all of this together is Motorola's excellent software. The user interface is nearly identical to what you'd find on a Pixel, meaning it's clean, pure Android as Google intended it. Definitely an amazing smartphone that won't let you down in any case. Number 3. Google Pixel 4a – Best Camera If you prefer Android, want to spend a little less money, or just want the best camera, then the Google Pixel 4a is the obvious choice. It doesn't have the largest screen or the fastest processor, but it does have a clean version of Android that's guaranteed to get software updates for at least a few years. The Pixel 4a's main claim to fame is its camera, which can go head-to-head -head with smartphones that cost $1,500 or more. That's because Google does so much of the image processing in software. It means that the Pixel 4a can take night photos, do astrophotography, and has a passable portrait mode. That's not the only reason why the Pixel 4a is one of my favourite Android phones. It's also speedy, the battery lasts a full day, and the 5.8-inch OLED screen looks ultra-modern. Where the Pixel 4a excels is in the basics. Its 3180mAh battery lasts all day thanks to the power-sipping properties of its upgraded Qualcomm Snapdragon 730 processor. Its 5.8-inch OLED display goes edge-to-edge -edge with only the slightest hint of a bezel and a camera cutout near the top left. There's no wireless charging or water resistance, and the plastic body, despite a premium matte finish, can feel a little less premium than its metal and glass counterparts. Otherwise, this is a near-perfect phone for its very reasonable price, and should be at the top of your list if you can spring the extra money over the Moto G Power. Number 2. Xiaomi Poco X3 – Best Screen the Xiaomi Poco X3 NFC is all about value, like every Poco handset before it and almost every Xiaomi device. The Poco X3 NFC is probably the best phone for gaming at its price. 
It has a large well-specced screen, loud stereo speakers, and its Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G processor handles titles such as Fortnite far better than the Snapdragon 665 and Exynos 9611 phones you might buy for the same cash. The Poco X3 NFC has an impressive sounding 64 megapixel main camera. It takes good shots but suffers from significant purple fringing, more so than the majority of rival phones in this price range. Still, its digital 2x mode is better than most, and while its low-light performance won't worry the Google Pixel 4a, it's at least on a par with the better budget Androids. The Poco X3 NFC has just about the most advanced display at this price. This is a 6.67-inch IPS LCD panel of 2400 by 1080 pixel resolution and has a trim punch hole for the front camera. While impressive, they alone don't make the Poco X3 screen special. It's the 120Hz refresh rate that does. Most budget phones come with a screen that refreshes 60 times a second. The panel here refreshes at up to 120 times a second. It's in the app menu where you'll notice this the most. Your current phone may not look clunky in motion, but put it next to the Poco X3 NFC and you'll be proved wrong. Number 1. Xiaomi Redmi Note 9 Pro – Best Overall After the Redmi Note 9 S, Xiaomi has now released another exciting mobile phone in the form of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. For a relatively cheap price, Xiaomi once again offers a large smartphone with a lot of features. The Redmi Note 9 Pro is aimed at the upper mid-range segment. The Redmi Note 9 Pro focuses on delivering a value-for-money experience. While the competition pushes the barrier with specs and price, the Redmi Note 9 Pro sticks to its formula of bringing great performance and good enough imaging to a price point that's within the reach of most buyers. The end result is a phone that delivers what it promises. A 6.67-inch IPS display with a resolution of 2400 by 1080 pixels, 6GB of LPDDR4X RAM, the octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G SoC, and an impressive 5020 mAh battery are the main ingredients of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. The Redmi Note 9 Pro is powerful and everyday work will go smoothly. The display is large and crisp, making games and movies look good. And you have a choice between variants, one with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, and the other with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. The quad camera setup includes an 8MP ultra-wide sensor, a 2MP depth sensor, as well as a rather questionable 5MP macro sensor. The primary shooter this time around, however, is a 48MP Samsung GM2 sensor. If flat-out performance and a low price is what you want, the Redmi Note 9 Pro still delivers the best bang for the buck. Buying Guide Build Quality The market is largely divided into metal and plastic builds for phones. You may even find glass-coated panels, but it just isn't advisable to use such phones if you're prone to dropping your phone often. While glass-based phones can shatter, metal and plastic-built phones can sustain drops from 2 to 3 feet. Camera just having a higher number of megapixels doesn't mean that the smartphone camera is better. Several specifications such as camera aperture, ISO levels, pixel size, autofocus and more are essential as well. A 16 megapixel rear camera doesn't necessarily do better than a 12 megapixel camera. Same theory goes for the front-facing camera. Processor The processing power of a smartphone varies from one device to another depending on several factors such as OS version, UI, bloatware and more. If you're a heavy user who needs to edit images, videos or documents online, play heavy games, stream videos or often use apps in split-screen mode, then smartphones with Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 or Snapdragon 820 or 821 should make multitasking fluid for you. Light users will be happy with handsets that come with MediaTek processors. Battery The battery usage differs from user to user depending on the way he or she uses the smartphone. If you're a heavy user and work on apps, play games, stream videos and more, then go for a smartphone with at least 3500 mAh battery or above. If you're an average or light user, a handset with 3000 mAh battery would be good enough to run for a full day.